Warning, the following program contains scenes that may not be appropriate for all viewers. Viewer discretion is advised. Welcome everyone to CWE Wrestling Dave Petro ringside joined by Kevin Cannon and Kevin we are kicking off this week's show with the crown jewel Chase Owens. He is a member of New Japan's Bullet Club. He is the former NWA Junior Heavyweight Champion. He, the, the sky's the limit for this guy. This guy is going places and right now he's going to pick up a victory. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make a bold prediction here today. Chase Owens is going to leave this ring with his hand raised. Definitely taking his sweet time getting into the ring. He's going to go one-on-one -on -one with Shane Sabre. And of course, Shane Sabre, probably, it's, it's safe to say, a real up-and-coming superstar in the world of professional wrestling. Shane Sabre, one half of flying high and I don't know, I've, I've seen him out back, you know, kind of by the ring truck. So he, he usually is, he smells like he's flying high anyway. He uh, definitely, I've uh, seen him always with a bag of Doritos in the, in the locker room area, kind of a... Slurpee from 7-Eleven, yeah. oversized one. <laughs> Absolutely, but you really can get it done in the ring. And speaking of in the ring, we are just really close. I don't even know how to, I am so excited. I am like a kid at Christmas time. The upcoming tour, kicking off... December 2nd in Yorkton, and then the following night at Houston's in Brandon, December the 3rd, and then the 50-man Rumble to Remember Friday night, December the 4th, Holy Cross Gymnasium. 50 guys, here comes one guy though, Shane Saber. He is ready for the challenge of a lifetime. I, I've been following this guy. I, follow, I do a lot of research on, on anyone that comes through CWE, and I gotta say, Judging by the people he's been in the ring with, this is Shane Saber's biggest match to date of his career. Well, definitely, Chase Owens will always push who's, whoever his opponent is to the next level. That is absolutely for sure because of his ring skills. Because Chase Owens is such a veteran, and a guy like Shane Saber, as I said, up and coming superstar, one half of the, one of the great tag teams right now in here in the CWE, he'll get pushed to the limit and probably come out better. As of, as when this match is over. Shane Sabre is one half of Flying High, but he's not part of the Bullet Club, though. <laughs> no, absolutely <laughs> Chase, not. Chase Owens. We don't have time to list uh, Chase Owens' accomplishments. We don't. And right now he's accomplishing a little bit of a rest and repose as he climbs out of the ring. And but that's what we've seen him do before, Kevin. It's like he's methodical. It's almost like a mind game with him, too. He will only get into the ring and, and hook up when he's ready as well it should be. That's the way things should go. Chase Owens has been in the business longer than Shane Sabre. Chase Owens has accomplished more than Shane Sabre, so Chase Owens should dictate how, how this match starts. And right now, it's starting with Chase Owens grabbing his arm, but Shane Sabre taking it right back behind the back into a hammerlock. Right in the middle of the ring, elbow by Chase Owens to get out of it. Now Chase Owens applying the side headlock. Off the ropes, big shoulder tackle. Shane Sabre hits the mat hard. And Chase Owens looking very proud of himself, Kevin Cannon. 
Chase Owens, he knows that he's got a victory coming up here. He knows he's going to be part of that big 50-man Rumble to Rumble. And, and, at that show, he might not even have to participate in the Rumble. He is facing Anderson Tyson Moore. He might be the champ going into the Rumble, and then ATM will have to take his spot in the Rumble. Absolutely correct. That's part of the big show coming up. Friday night, December the 4th, Winnipeg, Holy Cross Gymnasium. Ticket information on our Facebook page and the website, cwecanada.ca. Always purchase tickets to any CWE event at diyobo.com or, as Dave said, check the website. Well, you know what? And, and the response for Thursday night, December the 3rd in Brandon, has just been absolutely overwhelming. I'm getting texts from people that I know in Westman. People want to know how they can get to Houston's for the show. Oh, yeah, that's going to be it. Oh, Chase Owens looking for the, the short clothesline there on the mat. She and Saber moving out of the way, taking him down with a headlock. I can't even keep up with what these guys are doing now. Chase Owens has him and a head scissors. She and Saber quick to move around, though, and get up and get out of there. Well, that's what makes Chase Owens so dangerous, Kevin. And not only is the tremendous scientific and the wrestling knowledge that he possesses, but he is not afraid to mix it up. He's not afraid to play mind games. He's not afraid of anything. Dave Petra, one thing he is afraid of, though, December 3rd in Houston, or sorry, in Brandon at uh, Houston, he's got a team with Travis Cole. And <laughs> did you see that interview he did? He said, how am I supposed to trust a guy who can't even trust himself enough to come out of the closet? <laughs> well, I'm not going to make any kind of comment like that. What Travis Cole does behind closed doors is his own business. <laughs> Shane Saber now looking to go out to the ring. Oh! Anticipated that move from Chase Owens, anticipated the clothesline, but oh. Chase Owens, both men looking three, four moves ahead there, and Chase Owens just got that fifth move ahead, I guess, taking Shane Saber down to the mat. Tremendous crowd on hand here, as all the time the CWE comes to town, and we're really looking forward to Wednesday night, December the 2nd, back in Yorkton, Saskatchewan, a hotbed of the CWE. And a very, very special night, very dear to my heart and a lot of the members of the CWE roster's heart. Our good friend Ron Rurak is uh, is battling cancer right now, and we are we are doing a fundraiser. We're doing the Rumble for Ron that night. So if you are anywhere near the vicinity of Yorkton, you can make it down. That money goes towards a good cost. Go buy Ron's store. Absolutely, absolutely tremendous, tremendous heart. Each and every member of the CWE roster has to participate in such a great, great kind of fundraising event. And I guess the money going to Ron and his battle. Chase Owens now on top of Shane Saber in the corner. Referee trying to break it up. From my vantage point, it looks like he's got the knee to the throat there. A little bit of a choke. And now he's, he's leaning in on him a bit, yep. <laughs> got the count of five to break. As you've always told me, perfectly legal until it hits five. Jeff, the ref here, seems to be on top of things in the ring. Shane Saber hits the turnbuckles hard. Oh, it looks like he's favoring his lower back and then just gets a boot to the side of the head by the crown jewel, Chase Owens. And now Chase Owens stomping on Shane Saber. It almost looks like Chase Owens is toying with Shane Saber. He's almost having some fun with him now. He's just... Oh! oh wow. Not only the head going into the turnbuckle, but he got his boot up there. So you got a... Shane Saber got a mouthful of boot. Now an uppercut <laughs> applied by Chase Owens. Irish whip. Shane Saber again, hard in the turnbuckles, but comes out oh, flying. Wow. Oh, he's had enough. He has had enough. He's fired up. Hard clothesline now coming off the ropes. You're only, oh. only going to upset the crown jewel even further if you do this, Shane Saber. You're Here comes Chase Owens. Wow. Oh. And Chase Owens lands on his feet. He did. Took out Shane Saber and landed on his feet. What and you'll see guys like Bobby J and Tommy Lee Curtis fly over the ropes like that, and then everybody just kind of lands in a pile of bodies. Shane Saber. Taken out by Chase Owens, but Chase Owens landing on his feet like a cat. I was just going to say the same thing. And now he's smiling like a Cheshire cat. He's, he's happy. <laughs> and now just kind of posing for the crowd. I haven't seen a pose like that since Ken Patera, 1973. <laughs> Maybe he's been watching some old videos. Oh, oh. Sabres fighting back. Big elbow to the face. Of Chase Owens, Chase Owens reeling to the opposite corner of the ring now. Shane Saber just showing some aggression, just out of nowhere decided it was time to fight back. Chase Owens up and over. Oh, and he eats another elbow. Certainly is. He's definitely gonna have a swole. Wow! Oh, you saw that modified Russian leg sweep right into that turnbuckle. Chase Owens, he's reeling. Certainly is. 
Referee have the count, has the count on both men right now. Shane Saber looks like he's a little bit more mobile than Chase Owens after Chase Owens took a face full of turnbuckle. And a couple face fulls of elbow at that. Certainly. Race to get back to their feet now. Oh, both men almost back to their Chase feet. Chase Owens using the ropes to get, get himself elevated. Nope. Block. Shane Saber throws a right hand. Right in the middle of the ring, both men duking it out. Ducks the clothesline. Oh! oh Flapjack and down goes Chase Owens. The ring bust him up, jumped up three feet. Oh, but he caught him, he caught him. No, he's down. Oh, another big elbow, spinning elbow. Wow, Chase Owens is dizzy, but oh, he gets the boot up. Shane Saber, oh no, he follows him in. Elbow of his own. He chased him in there. Oh, and a low kick. Takes the legs out from underneath him. Oh. Wow, and a DDT right down to the mat. This could be it. On it. Two, Two and, and oh. Chase Owens does not go out that easy. Wow, I never saw a DDT delivered like that, like Shane Saber delivered to the crown jewel, Chase Owens. I don't think Chase Owens ever seen one delivered like that either. Oh, that one, that's for sure. Roll up now, this could be it. Hold the tights. Hold the tights. Two. Two. Nope. Oh, but he flips him over. He's got him. One, one. two. This crowd loving this action. Small package. One, one. two. No, kicks out. Count. Look at this, backbreaker. Oh, backbreaker, spins him around, drops him across the knee, but Chase Owens on the receiving end of a beating for a little too long to get on top of his man. One, two, kick out by Shane Saber. What action in our opening contest. Right here this week on CWE Wrestling. Chase Owens on his feet, picking up Shane Saber. Listen to this crowd. Firmly behind Shane Saber with the chance of Shane. Shane. I don't know if that's enough to help him though. Chase Owens has got him down on bended knee. He's <laughs> he's delivering a whooping if there ever was one. Certainly is. Chase Owens methodically taking his time right now. But is Shane Saber going? Come on, give me some more. Was that what he's doing? He is. Please, sir, can I have another here? <laughs> you got to admire Shane Saber. Oh, what a knee! Oh, what? Chase back with an elbow and a big kick to the face. Both men down, center of the ring. This match taking a tremendous toll on both competitors. Referee once again starting. One man at least has to get to his feet by the count of ten. The other man could be counted out. Or both men could be counted out. Nobody's near enough the ropes to use those to help him climb up. Chase Owens is moving over there over the edge of the ring so that he can do just that. Both men back to their feet now. Shane Saber tries to pull off. Cold breaker, but yeah, Chase Owens no. flipping him over. Hang on the ropes, flipping him over. Oh, oh wow. and another back breaker. Wow, that one hit a 45 degrees right on the edge of the knee. One, two. Oh, I thought that was it. I thought that was all. Kick out with authority, and that's especially surprising considering that amount of punishment Shane Saber has taken on his lower back. Oh, yeah, I'm surprised he can still stand. Well, barely right now. There we go. Cradle pile driver. Up. Oh, no. no. Shane's fighting it. Oh, oh what an elbow. Another elbow. Up we go. Oh. Big back suplex right on the back of the head of Chase Owens. He is dazed. Shane Saber now up to the second rope, comes back. Another Big DDT. DDT. Wow. Chase Owens might be unconscious here. I think this is all. One, two, and oh no. Able to kick out of the count of two. Chase Owens, there's still some fight left in him. Shane Saber just cannot believe it, but this crowd 100% behind. One half of flying high. Shane Saber. Saber can taste the victory. He knows he's got Chase Owens on the ropes. He knows he's got Chase Owens reeled. He knows he's got him dazed. But. Still has to put the man away. Absolutely. And this could be it. Lining him up. No, Shane. big knee. Cut off, headed off at the pass, if you will, by Chase Owens now. Up to his shoulders, oh. down. Two knees right across the midsection of Shane Saber. And wow, nowhere to go. But turn buckle and Chase Owens. Wow! Oh. Pulls him off the top rope, and he's not done. He's not done. Here's that cradle pop. There it is. There oh my go. word. Pulls over one, two, and three. We got him. There is your winner. Chase Owens, the crown jewel, victorious over Shane Saber right here in our opening contest.
on CWE Wrestling. Wow, that was an absolute tremendous match, Kev. Five-star match if I ever saw one. But we got to pay some bills, Dave Petro. More CWE action right after these. There's been an awakening. Have you felt it? Boom, boom, Cocabana. Click with MusclesByMyers.com. We have sports supplements, vitamins, and minerals for all lifestyles and levels of fitness. And call or email for free one-on-one -on -one guidance. Smart buyers shop at Myers and MusclesByMyers.com. Welcome back to CWE Wrestling Day. Petro Kevin Cannon ringside, and Kevin, the other half of Fly High, Carter Mason is in this matchup coming up. He must be flying so high that he doesn't know who his opponent is. Because uh, I would not be dancing, clapping, jumping around, or even smiling if I had to go one-on-one -on -one with this man. I'll tell you that. <laughs> well, you're absolutely correct. You have to admire the enthusiasm of Carter Mason. But, as you can hear from our ring announcer, his opponent, the hired gun, if you will, one of the meanest men in all, and I do mean all of professional wrestling, Outlaw Adam Knight. This guy is an absolute monster. He is a beast. He is a savage dog. He will rip Carter Mason limb from limb. He'll rip anyone limb from limb. Absolutely correct. He is big. Look at this. I, I'd almost say that height-wise, he is almost as tall as Carter Mason standing in the ring when Outlaw Adam Knight is standing on the floor. It's pretty close. This is probably the biggest man to ever come out of the professional wrestling scene in Canada and has a mean streak. He doesn't like anybody. And he's not just a big, lumbering lumber you know big fat guy he can move oh fast like a cat and he's got a textbook full of wrestling moves yeah we got a tremendous main event gonna follow this matchup oh yeah it's gonna be big it's gonna be big speaking of big men we are gonna see mr incredible go one on one with none other than ring of honors michael elgin that's our television main event coming up after this one one fall 30 minute time limit Flying high, Carter Mason, the man on your right. The man casting a big shadow throughout the CWE Event Center. Outlaw, Adam Knight, just watching, looking on as the referee singles for the bell, and we are off and running. Outlaw, Adam Knight. Like I say, he is fast, but he is mean, despicable, ornery, dangerous. <laughs> And he is in CWE. <laughs> he certainly is. Brought back by Shane Madison to take out Hotshot Danny Duggan. And we saw that a few weeks back. He laid a beating, a, just a perfect demonstration of destruction on Danny Duggan. Danny Duggan, former multiple time CWE champion, and Adam Knight had no problem. No issue mopping the floor with the guy. And because of the shock of the entire professional wrestling world, because up until that point, 
No one knew what Outlaw Adam Knight was up to. No one had seen him around the CWE for years. Look at this. Look at you can tell Adam Knight. Look at the look on his face. Carter Mason thinks, hey, I got this guy in a wrist lock. I got this guy in a hammer lock. I got this guy's arm. Adam Knight's letting him. Adam Knight knows he's gonna give this guy some undue confidence and then do exactly this. Take him over and rip his shoulder out of the socket. You have to think outlaw Adam Knight views all his opponents the same way. He wants to get the job done as fast as possible and get back to the locker room area and get his check. Look at this. Adam Knight can barely bend over enough for, for Carter Mason to reach that headlock. Carter Mason now with a kick. Adam Knight just reversing the, the Irish whip. Another one just for good measure. Up and over. No. Adam Knight's done playing around now. Oh, I thought he was going to jump down on him. No, he just picks him back up. He, he's not done uh, on the feet here. Carter Mason, though, with the head scissors. Throws Adam Knight into the ropes. Adam Knight just kind of stumbles and regains his composure. Ducking the clothesline with a step over. No, yeah. that time he mows him down. He certainly did. He was kind of, you could see the look on his face. He was kind of puzzled a li little bit by Carter Mason because, you know, really, a lot of times, outlaw Adam Knight, when you look at he looks at his opponent, he can see fear in the eyes, but there's a little bit of glossiness in <laughs> Carter Mason's <laughs> eyes, yeah. if you know what I mean. Well, now I bet you Carter Mason wishes he was out back by those ring trucks. Oh, and Adam Knight, just like he was pitching a baseball on opening day there, just throws an elbow at the jaw of Carter Mason. Outlaw Adam Knight paces him with a big right hand. Carter Mason hits the mat hard. And I don't even think the referee wants to get in it with... No, you elbow. can tell that referee's not... Quite, uh, it got his nose in there as much as, as he does in other matchups. Yeah, I think he's. I think outlaw Adam Knight just said, "This is my business. Stay out of my business." Adam okay. Knight now crushing the windpipe of Carter Mason. Adam Knight has slowed this match down to the pace that he likes. Absolutely, and he's going to look to dish out more punishment on Carter Mason. Carter Mason trying to fight back throwing a few fists at the midsection of Adam Knight, but Adam Knight just his back with a big backhand chop. Certainly does. Outlaw Adam Knight now has Carter Mason right in the middle of the ring, picking him up. He's going to deliver. Oh, Carter Mason with a hard shot. But Outlaw and, Adam Knight said that's all, enough. All he's doing, he might as well have a, uh, a branch off a tree and be swatting at a bee's nest with it. That, that's what he's doing. He's just stirring up the hornets. Yeah, look at this. Look at the size of Adam Knight's hands on the head. And the shoulder area just t takes him down. Like thrown out a used Slurpee cup out the window <laughs> of a car at 90 kilometers an hour. Adam Knight now sizing up his opponent. Just... Just waiting for the right time, waiting for the irons to be hot before he strikes. Okay. Now we talked about the last match. We talked about Shane Saber gaining some experience in the likes of in the ring with a guy like Chase Owens, but Carter Mason, he's only gonna learn about pain. Oh yeah. And Carter Mason had a pretty decent showing so far in CWE, but Adam Knight is just so mismatched to him in size. Adam Knight's gotta be, be double hit in his, his weight. That's just, there's not a lot he can do. He's trying his darndest, I'll give him that. Ducks the big right hand from Adam Knight, and he, he's peppering him with all these shots, and, and, and Adam Knight is, is starting to feel some of these. He is. Jumps up with a knee, but Adam Knight has not left his feet yet. We may have underestimated, oh no. No. Oh no. See, and here comes Adam Knight, whips Carter Mason into the corner, and oh, Carter Mason gets that boot up. He got the, uh, the toe, I think, right in the, the Either the nose or the eye of Adam Knight by the looks of it there. Caught him. Caught him. Yeah, see, he, he has not been able to get Adam Knight off his feet. And no. He has connected him with at least 15 to 20 shots You're here. Absolutely correct. And Adam Knight just brushing him off. Picks uh -oh. him up high. Oh, he's, he's holding him up there. Causes Drops him, him to drop him. Oh, oh, comes back with a kick. Low kick now. Takes him down to one knee. Look at this. He's going for Canadian DDT. Oh. Adam Knight shoves him off though before he can land oh. it. And, and, and 20 punches and kicks and 20 shots from Carter Mason equal one clothesline, or do not even equal one clothesline from the outlaw Adam Knight. Outlaw Adam Knight gets him up and puts him down. Big power bomb. He almost yeah. threw him right over his back. One, one two, 
Three. You got him. You can count to a thousand. Carter Mason is not getting up. Outlaw Adam Knight, victorious over Carter Mason right here on CWE Wrestling and Wrestling Fans. We're going to take a quick break. We come back. Things Main get, event. Things get real physical. You thought Adam Knight was physical? Wait till you see these two bulls go toe to toe. Michael Elgin versus Mr. Incredible when we return. There's been an awakening. Have you felt it? Boom, boom, Cocabana. I go to Muscles by Myers because I trust them. The staff is phenomenal. You come in, they're always positive, they're always happy to see you. I walked in there not knowing a thing about supplements, and the staff there showed me everything I need to know. I lost about 40 pounds and then put on about 10 pounds of muscle. I've gotten stronger, I've had more energy. I go to Muscles by Myers because they offer great advice, competitive pricing, and they care about helping you achieve your goals. If I can do it, you can do it. Welcome back to CWE Wrestling. Dave Petro, Kevin Cannon, ringside. And Kevin, this is our television main event. Here is one of the baddest hombres on the CWE roster. He is Mr. Incredible. Formerly one half of MAN, nowadays can be seen rolling with Antonio Scorpio. But tonight, he's here by himself. And he's facing Ring of Honor's former champion. Michael Elgin, you just heard it from the ring. Announcer. Michael Elgin, the man, travels the world constantly. Read about him all the time in all the newsletters, all the accomplishments, all the titles that he's won. He's had a lot of success recently in Japan, too. The fans in Japan are loving him. They love that big, bruiser, solid style that he works. And Michael Elgin is here tonight in CWE to work that same style, to work that same kind of match. He's, he's wrestling against a guy who can do the exact same thing, and that's beat people up. Absolutely. In terms of technical wrestling, I will have to give the edge to Michael Elgin in this one. But in terms of pure brawling ability, that edge goes to Mr. Incredible. This will be a phenomenal television main event. And he's always got that one X factor, that one unknown, the black hammer. You never know when Mr. Incredible is going to pull that black hammer out and put it to use. He's pulled it out many times, won a lot of matches. Oh yeah. He's won over the hearts of a lot of ladies with that black hammer too. <laughs> Michael Elgin soaking in the chairs of the fans. They do not like Mr. Incredible. They do not like the shenanigans. They do not like the chaos that he has caused so far cutting a swath through the CWE. The men he's put out of commission, the men we've never heard from again after they faced Mr. Incredible. Whatever happened to Red Thunder, Mr. Incredible put him out. Absolutely. Oh, gone. Gone. We have not heard from Red Thunder. And Jeff now, Youngblood too. Haven't Mr. heard from Incredible him. put him out. Certainly did. See you later. And now, he faces a big test. Ring of Honor's own, Michael Elgin. This is gonna be a tremendous main event. One fall, 60 minute time limit while we have an opportunity. I wanna remind all the great fans, 
Wednesday night, December the 2nd, CWE returns to Yorkton. Thursday night, Brandon, Manitoba, December the 3rd, Houston's. Big, big show there. And then, of course, the 50-man rumble to remember. Friday night, December the 4th, Holy Cross Gymnasium. 50 men, Kevin Cannon. 50 men. Every couple of minutes, a different man will enter the fray. And one man standing. That will be our winner. And he'll get a CWE championship shot down the road. At the 7th anniversary show. Seven years already, Canadian wow. Wrestling's Elite. We have seen a lot of those men win those Rumbles and go on to great success. Yes, yeah, Pedro, I can t attest. This is the fifth Rumble to remember. Nobody has ever, everyone who's ever won a Rumble to remember has gone on to become CWE champion. Absolutely. Absolutely. Mr. Incredible gloating a little here. I don't know if Michael Elgin's the kind of opponent you want to do that against. Oh, Michael Elgin, both feet down right over that bottom rope and... Mr. Incredible hits the uh, arena floor hard. Michael Elgin has the body of an Olympic power lifter. <laughs> oh, he's probably got the strength of one, too. Oh, but look, he is just low to the ground, not short, but low to the ground, has a great, great ring presence, and then can mix it up, as you can see. Like, he's just, like, a, probably the closest thing to a perfect professional wrestler, as you can find. I was going to say the, the closest thing to a, a, a living Viking you can find. The guy is built like a Viking in that, in that television program. Just big, big arms, traps, shoulders, chest. Just a, a, a man who you know could probably rip a tree out of the ground with his bare hands. We're getting back to Gimli uh, in the summertime. Oh, and then I flew over the top rope. Uh, flying. One, two. I was saying we're getting back to Gimli. In the summertime, when they had those Icelandic type games with the Vikings and they're pulling the tree stumps out of the ground, and oh, he'd clean house. Look at this! And he's looking at the clean house right now against Mr. Incredible as he hangs him up, feet under wrapped underneath that top turnbuckle. Oh no, I don't like where this is going. Look at those! He's warming up the boot, and it oh no, Mr. Incredible sits up. Oh, <laughs> right Incredible. in the back of the head. Mr. Incredible thought he had him outsmarted, and now oh. That right is the solar plexus of Mr. Incredible. Referee down to count one. Just a one. Mr. Incredible taking a beating and kicking out of that pin attempt quickly. Mr. Incredible, a man that is just not used to being in that kind of position. He's usually the aggressor in a match. Exactly. And he is just being outmuscled right now by Michael Elgin. Michael Elgin pulling him up. We just see a suplex. Looks like he sizes him up for one. It certainly does. And, and, and Dave Petro, Michael Elgin. Look at this. He's the gone. ring's going to break. The yeah. ring will break. Or, or his knees will break. One of the two. Holding wow. him up. It, this, is, this is unbelievable. The strength. Mr. Incredible's 300 pounds. He certainly is. The strength of Michael Elgin. And it doesn't look like he can. And the fans are counting. I think we're at 20 now. Absolutely. 28. All the 29. blood rushing from 30, the body. 30 seconds. He had him up there. Stalled Good. in that suplex. Good. 30 God. seconds. One. Two. It's going to be all. No. Kick out by Mr. Incredible at the count of two. Michael Elgin. He had him up there at least 30 seconds. Oh, yeah. Holding him right up there. And Michael Elgin doesn't look like he's even broken a sweat. No. That, that, that didn't exert any of his energy. No, it did not. Oh, Mr. Incredible pulls the legs out from underneath Michael Elgin. Michael Elgin shoves him off though before he can mount any offense. As a result, the drop toe hold lands the mouth of Michael Elgin right on that second turnbuckle. Mr. Incredible now hopes to take advantage of the situation. Michael Elgin now dazed. Mr. Incredible got it. His foot. Right across the, the neck and throat area there. The referee telling Mr. Incredible, hey man, you got to get him out of there. you got to let him up out of the corner. Now Michael Elgin's a little more where Mr. Incredible would like him to be. He's on that bottom rope. Mr. Incredible pulling the rope up, giving him some, uh, some difficulties breathing, if you will. Certainly is. That's probably putting it very... Um What's the word? Hiding the truth, probably. <laughs> he was choking him, Kevin Cannon. And Michael Elgin now coming back. Kind of a forearm, elbow to the guts. 
and then met with a big knee by Mr. Incredible Michael Elgin. Now Dave's back on the mat. Oh my, Mr. Incredible. Oh wow, what a chop. Well, he's seated in the middle of the ring. Very proud of himself. And up he goes, big leg drop right across the collarbone. One, no, Michael Elgin kicks out quick, trying to shake things off. But a, a beating like that from Mr. Incredible is not something you can exactly just take a lap and, and walk off. This match, both men evenly matched up. Probably the two, couple of the two biggest men in the CWE. Toe to toe, middle of the ring. This is the kind of action you will see when the CWE comes to town. Guys like Michael Ogden, guys like Mr. Incredible. Physicality oh, at its best. Big right hand to the bread basket. I'm being told, Dave Petro, going back to what we were talking about earlier about how we never see people again, that the matchup that Mr. Incredible had a few weeks back, right here on CWE television, against Robbie Royce, mm -hmm. that's Robbie Royce's last professional matchup. Absolutely. He has retired. Shortly after Doctor's that. Doctor's orders. Doctor has have ordered the pissed off pit bull Robbie Royce, and we wish Robbie Royce well. We just, I do hope that this retirement is short-lived because Robbie Royce, a very valuable member of the CWE roster. A very valuable member of the professional wrestling industry in Absolutely. general. Mr. Incredible tries to hang on, but Michael Elgin shoves him out. And Robbie Royce have been on the same side of a wrestling ring, and we have been on opposite ends of the wrestling ring, but at the end of the day, he is a, a fantastic, fantastic athlete and a great person. I've crossed past them starting in the 90s in River City Wrestling. Wow. Yeah, the pissed off pitbull Robbie Royce wasn't oh, quite as no, pissed off then. Oh no, you're right. Oh my. Wow, and he flips, front flip over, leg across the back of the head of Mr. Incredible. Mr. Incredible comes in the ring the way you don't want to come in the ring. <laughs> We're gonna throw it across the rope. Michael Elgin now stalking his prey. Oh, look at that. Elbow. Mr. Incredible drops down to the mat. Another one, Mr. Incredible down again. Now Michael Elgin picking up his opponent. Throwing him off rows with Mr. Incredible able to reverse the whip there and looks for a big clothesline, spins him around. Wow! Oh my god. Gets that right foot right up to the back of the head of Mr. Incredible. Mr. Incredible is down. Oh wow! That's Jumping on the back of his head now. Mr. Incredible, Mr. Incredible six over. feet tall. Be at one, two, and three. No. Mr. No, Incredible six feet tall, and you saw Michael Elgin able to get the height to kick him in the back of the head like just that. leapt up and, and, and threw that leg across the back of the head of Mr. Incredible. That is amazing. Absolutely incredible. And this is why this man was a world champion. This is why this man is sought after by every wrestling promotion in the world. Absolutely correct. Michael Elgin now picking up Mr. Incredible. Oh, and he's just chopping him front and back. Thunderous, <laughs> thunderous forearm. Mr. Incredible falls him to the ropes, ducks the clothesline, follows him again. Ducks another one. Mr. Incredible here thinks he's got. Oh, oh my! Power slam! Power slam! On the Mr. Incredible, I don't think in his career has ever been on the receiving end of a power slam. No one's been able to lift him up like that. Michael Elgin with a big pump kick to the mouth of Mr. Incredible. Mr. Incredible now turns around. Big German suplex. Mr. Incredible landing on the back of his neck. Michael Elgin flipping him over. One, one two, three. No, no, Mr. Incredible kicks out at the last possible millisecond. You've got to hand it to Mr. Incredible to be able to kick out of that. Michael Elgin is absolutely a machine with his punishment to Mr. Incredible right now. now and he's chasing him. him up. Yeah. Oh, oh, Mr. Incredible. Drops his throat across that top rope. Michael Elgin thought Mr. Incredible had a little less cognitive senses left in him than that, but Incredible able to mount a little offense there and make his way back in the ring to capitalize. Mr. Incredible now coming back into the ring, hopefully to take advantage of the winded Michael Elgin. And now did he deliver a suplex of his own? No, Michael Elgin able to slip out, ducks the clothesline Mr. Incredible did. Comes back with a drop kick. Michael Elgin now back in his back. Mr. Incredible first to his feet, hooks the leg. One, two. Oh, that was close. Michael Elgin stunned, no doubt still stunned after getting his throat draped across the ropes and then the drop kick by Mr. Incredible. And you gotta think, if, if Mr. Incredible wasn't so winded and beat up, he would have been able to pin him there. That would have, that would have been the end of the matchup. Both men struggling oh, to get to their feet. Oh. Protective elbow sleeve. The black hammer has been exposed. He is pulling it out. 
Michael Elgin now struggling to get back to his feet. Creating some distance so he can get some speed. And here it comes. And Black Hammer. Oh, Ooh, that's the that's... job. Michael Elgin, Michael Elgin cuts him off though with a big hammer of his own. And look at this. Oh, oh wow. He tries to pick him up for one more shot. Goes down with him. One, two, three. No, no, Mr. Incredible. Michael Elgin's so fast, I don't know if he hit him with a left or a right. <laughs> Maybe one of each. I think we've seen that before. Look at this, Mr. Incredible trying to, trying to, oh. oh. Referee. Shot Michael Elgin into the corner. The referee gets sandwiched in between. Oh, the referee is in bad shape. Michael Elgin now trying to, what's, 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 what is Mr. Incredible doing? He's going to his jacket here. He certainly is. The referee is out. His back is to this. He doesn't see what's going on. Michael oh, Elgin. Michael Elgin won't let Mr. Incredible, but he's, 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 he's wrapping. He's something around his fist. A chain. It's a chain. Oh. Or no, I think it was just his, his tape from his wrist. A low it, kick. I think the tape from his wrist came I don't think so. Out. He's not showing off tape, Kevin Cannon. Yeah, I think it's just tape. Yeah. I don't think so. He is wrapping. He... Stop yourself from getting a jammed wrist. It's fine. That's not tape. And look at this, Michael Elgin getting up. Oh, my. Going back down. The referee is out. He did not see that treachery by Mr. Incredible. Michael Elgin just got delivered a shot with that rap fist of Mr. Incredible. Now Mr. Incredible, of course, going down to say, referee, wake up, wake up. He's got Michael Elgin where he wants him. And the black hammer comes down on Michael Elgin. This One, is disgusting. Two, three. We got him. We have an upset in our main event. Mr. Incredible defeats former Ring of Honor world champion Michael Elgin. With the, wow. help, with the help of a chain, Kevin Cannon. Oh, with the black hammer, with his, with his big finishing maneuver there. The referee's back was turned, did not see Mr. Incredible pull out an object, the chain, I believe it was, wrap it around the fist, level Mr. Incre level Michael Elgin, and then deliver the black hammer, and the referee wakes to get the count of three. And the fans are outraged. They're next, outraged. Next week, Dave Pepper, we're going to see the Justin Gabriel return. Oh, well, we're going to see Michael Elgin return here first. What is this? He's tapping Mr. Incredible on the shoulder. Oh! oh! Michael Elgin not taking very kindly to the treachery of Mr. Incredible. And now, power slam. Right onto the back of the head of Mr. Incredible. Michael Elgin not the winner, but Mr. Incredible was. Ladies and gentlemen, as you mentioned, Kevin Cannon. Justin Gabriel returns to CWE Television next week. And Tyler Colton will be defending the television championship against the one, the only, Tommy Lee Curtis. All that next week, right here on CWE Wrestling. On behalf of Kevin Cannon, Dave Petro saying good night.